already paid our respects to the dearly departed high revving Honda that we once knew, that bonkers, Vtek kicked the new, skinny legged whippersnapper of old. The fog of nostalgia tends to make you forget that, in truth, he wasn't always easy to live with, alternately mopey and hopped up on Adderall as he was. We've begun to move on, in part because we have no choice. The NSX is a hybrid now. The Civic C is turbocharged. And one or the other, maybe even both, of those approaches figure into rumors that Honda may create a successor to the S2000. This all brings us to the 2017 Honda Civic Type R. The casual car enthusiast in America will remember only that there was once an Acura Integra with that suffix, a loud, berserk, frenetic, and spectacular thing that lasted only a short time many years ago. But those peering at this story from beneath the flat brim of a Type R cap will know that there have been four generations of Civic Type R's prior to the car for which we gather today. All of those screamers were kept from our shores. But as Honda slowly comes out of its product malaise, the company decided that bringing over the Type R now, indeed, designing it from the outset with the US market in mind, will help bolster its once unassailable reputation for producing precise little budget fun mibbles. Not what it looks like. The 2017 model is an entirely different car than what enthusiasts lusted for low these many years. You wouldn't know that from looking at it, though. On top of the already nutty Civic hatchback design, Honda adds all manner of wings and splitters and vortex generators and scoops until the exterior looks like a disheveled knife drawer. It looks hyper-Japanese in that anime way. It looks more than a bit juvenile. It looks like it would be basically undrivable. But Honda says all of the body addenda are functional, reducing lift, smoothing air over the tires, generating, um, vortices, and, in the case of the hood scoop, cooling the engine. 